Walk sign is on the cross. Harrison. Harrison. Walk sign is on the cross. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Six. We're at the 24 hour big beat just after 12 a.m. It's working the night, night shifts. We mm, just had a long day of studying. It's Wednesday, November 6th here in Zambia, and MSU 360 24 has begun. Okay, it's 1 a.m., and I'm walking down Seoul, South Korea. Nobody at 1 a.m. in this part of town. Okay, we're at the Delta Gamma Pledge Class of 2013. Chilling at the rock all night with our sisters. We just painted the rock and we're trying to guard it from all the boys that are trying to get at it. <laughs> okay, I'm Eric Wells. I'm the uh, opening supervisor for the bakery. I come in at 2.30 uh, in the morning. We, uh, in the morning, we bake all the bagels and the fresh bread, and so that's where we're at now. We're closely tracking prompts one, four, and eight. This is an outdoor market which is gonna open, and we're watching people as they're getting their baked goods out, their eggs, their chickens. How many chickens did you bring? About 700. 700 chickens, yeah. I'm working on my history uh, project that we have due tomorrow. Um, we're 25% of our grade, so we definitely saved it all to the end, but. Uh... We're at uh, the Michigan State University Material Recovery Facility. This is one of our containers from, from the drop-off center. This is a cardboard container. And we're on East Lansing uh, MSU's campus in the main library. At four in the morning, studying for our exam. Wednesday, November 6th, and it is 5.25 in the morning. I just got off the set here in West Laco, Texas. Yes, we're on main campus, Landscape Services. Our department works from 6 a.m. to 2.30. It's a rainy and very dark Wednesday morning here along the Texas-Mexico border. We've got election day results from yesterday. We're gonna hit the streets and report on those. So um, yeah, that's what Wednesday, November 6th looks like for an MSU alumni along the border. Nice thing about our shift is we get to see the sunrise literally year-round um, every day, so it's fun to come in at this hour and then just watch the world wake up. November 6, 2013. And I'm cooking a big omelet to start this crazy day. So here we go. Off to work. Welcome to Marshall Upper Elementary School, room 100. Today is Wednesday, November 6th, and I'm currently waiting for my fifth grade students to enter the building to start a great day of learning here in Westland, Michigan. Wheatgrass. Drink two ounces of wheatgrass juice daily. <coughs> Good morning, MSU. How are you feeling today, Spartans? Uh, about a year ago, I moved to Chicago uh, to join the Second City, where I uh, write and perform. The best part of my bike ride every morning is I get to look at Lake Michigan. Check it out. East Lansing, can you hear me? Uh, 
Uh, we are at the MSU Sheep Teaching and Research Center. And we're, the sheep are uh, just kind of getting ready for their breakfast. Well, today is a day like many other days. I'm having breakfast and I'll be off to my office. I am in Lusaka, Zambia. I'm an MD PhD student in the Department of Epidemiology and Biostatistics. So I'm here working on my PhD work. So I just woke up. Uh, today's the day I go to Detroit. I'm following Carl around. He is a sociology professor. And uh, we're going on to Detroit. We're talking to, I think, some reformed gang members, um, some youth leaders, and some really cool people. It may be rainy, but we still have the prettiest campus. So my PhD work is looking at the intersection between HIV and epilepsy. Oftentimes people with HIV have other medical conditions. And in developing countries, oftentimes it's epilepsy. We'll see how that goes. Whether it's going to be 40 patients today or 96, I don't know. Let's go. He is not here to talk about all of his amazing accomplishments. He's here because he has a very important message. So without further ado, Anthony Mann. Is this keychain big enough? I am filling out an application because in a couple hours I'm going to the bank to apply for a loan to buy a house. I'm here at Erickson Hall and I am just trying to get some homework done for my next class. My slogan, guys, as a speaker are the letters L, Y, and D. The letter L stands for live, the letter Y stands for your, and the letter D stands for dream. I'm Trish Dewald. I graduated in 2000. We are in my office at the Coalition on Temporary Shelter, better known as COTS in Detroit. Wednesday, uh, November 6th, and we are on the, in my office at, on the campus of Korea University in the Department of uh, Brain and Cognitive Engineering. How many today? Well, that's not bad. We can, no, 53, no problem. Do it again. Say ah. Ah. All right. Say ah again. <laughs> here we are at the Jup Binh Thai Market here in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. It's 10:30, and I'm about to cross the street. Let's go. One of them has actually built a system for acquiring face images at a fairly long distance, 150 meters or so. Um, and our, our main purpose in that project is to do face recognition. Good morning. It is 11.30 a.m. Um, and I am practicing the tuba. See, it's a tuba. I did watch, managed to, I got up early to watch the MSU UFM football game. So that was very exciting. <laughs> I'm a Spartan, stuck in Ann Arbor. But that doesn't stop me from repping my green white. So this is pretty much our life every day. I'm currently interning at Capital Services Inc., which is a multi-client lobbying firm based out of Lansing. Right now I'm in a house session and they're debating a bill. <laughs> Bye Enrique! Bye. niche market crosses and then here we have a, a whole tray of white potatoes which is a cross that's going to be used for selecting varieties that would be used in chip processing and so we don't want those colors in there because you, you want to have uh, kind of uniform uh, white chips. Okay. 
Uh, we're currently at Jensen Field House. We just finished up uh, helping Rob here with his uh, rehab a little bit, so just calm down his pain for the rest of the day. And we we're harvesting the populations of all the different crosses we made. So there's like over 500 crosses, 65,000 different seedlings. Following President Simon to our meetings and packing basketballs to send to Dublin. So what do you think about this crazy idea of following, trying to get the entire world through the eyes of Spartans? Even better off if it wasn't raining. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Trisha Langlois coming to you from the south shore of Maui. It's about 2 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. I'm just about to go for my daily run along the beach and wanted to show you guys this beautiful scenery. Ahui ho, aloha, and most importantly, go green! And I am in Havana, Cuba today on the 6th of November. This is my bike to work through the French Quarter. I live in Avalon, California. That's on Catalina Island off the coast of Southern California. Um, I live in Edinburgh, Scotland now, where I work actually with students studying abroad here from the U.S. And we just want to say, go green from Ann Arbor, Michigan. Um, I live in Los Angeles, California. Let me show you, this is about a half mile from my house. Could be, you know, could be worse. Commuting on the DC Metro. We are here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Antarctica. My name is Matthew Sherman. I did a master's degree at Michigan State, finishing in 2011. And I am now a graduate student at the University of Oxford. I'm here today in Kabarone, Botswana, where I'm seeking out new Spartans at the Westwood International School here. Northern Michigan in the rain and a beautiful fall day. Hello, Spartan Nation. Greetings from Chicago. Hi, my name is Tim Foster. I'm an alumni from Michigan State working and living over in Sweden right now. And on behalf of all of my students here in Luleå, Sweden, we'd just like to wish you one thing back in East Lansing. Go green, go white, go green, go white. Hi, my name is Ashley. Hi, my name is Joanna. We are Michigan State grads. We are speech language pathologists that work at Hartwood School. These communication devices help our nonverbal students communicate. Go green. Hi, my name's Chris Johnson. I am the Deputy Director of Conventional Facilities for the Facility for Rare Isotope Beams, which is commonly known as EFRIB. The way that it works is we're going to be um, accelerating uh, isotopes. Um, we will be accelerating these rare isotopes to approximately 53% of the speed of light which is pretty fast for an isotope. You missed the box. Um, so the disease specifically is scleroderma, but kind of in a bigger umbrella term, it's uh, fibrosis diseases. One thing that's interesting about this is we first started studying it in cancer about 10, 12 years ago. We found some compounds, but then recently learned that the same drugs could be used in scleroderma, and about a year ago we really jumped into that area. What are you going to do today after class? It's on the day's agenda. All right. Where are you headed? Uh, chemistry. Chemistry. What building are you going to? The chemistry building. My name is Ideen Dadashti, and today I'm the set production assistant on the hit TV show, Bones. Look, Sparty wants to work on Bones, too. Um, Melissa is studying patients like, like you, mm -hmm. so if you don't mind, we'll have you talk to the nurse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. And I never thought that
that I would be working in a hospital in Zambia and have an opportunity on a daily basis to change people's lives. Yeah, and Yusef has done a lot of work with the gangs. He's a former gang, but he's, he's a guy that's, uh, he just puts his, he raises money for the kids, he gives out school bags, he does it all. Today. We are going to be working what's called the East District, okay. which covers Ada, Cascade, Grand Rapids Townships, as well as Lowell and Virgins Township. We just got finished with an autopsy, so what I have in front of me here is actually a human brain. This is a great horned owl lives here at the same story. She is an animal ambassador and represents her species. She was injured in the wild and uh, she was found in 2008 and actually rehabilitated at the Michigan State University Small Animal Clinic. It is now 3.40 p.m. and my fifth graders have now left the building and now it's time for me to do some lesson planning before I can go home and enjoy my evening as well. Was it okay having an American doctor? It was very much okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying my senior year by walking to class through my favorite part of campus and looking at all the beautiful fall colors. Okay, we're here. Where are we? Gyeongbokgung Palace. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's my name is Dung O Kang. That's yeah. exactly what I said. Yeah. Say my name. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that was good. Okay. Dr. Martin Luther King once said that service is the price that we pay for living on earth. Well, for us Spartans, we call it Spartans' will. I was admiring our beautiful Maryland sky. You can't really. S oh, yes, you can. Everyone posting the same sky picture. This is a dairy cattle teaching and research farm. So, one of the things that I am here basically for is uh, we are trying to do this trilateral project with, uh, with Malawi and India. We are trying to improve dairy value chain in Malawi using successful practices uh, from India is what I'm trying to do. Tonight, this is a gathering for a contingent from the University of Malawi College of Medicine. They're here to strengthen the link between Michigan State University and the medical schools in Malawi. And you're still spending how much time over Six there? Six months, a year, the rainy season. Although it's raining here today, that I was joking with the Malawians, saying, you just think I'm in the rain wherever I am. Green, normal green! Crisco now, Crisco! Where's the slide? Uh, I think you're free to play in here right up until your small group goes on, so so go ahead and do that. It's Southern Heavy. Oh, right. I do remember she called to buy you a ticket yesterday, so I know it's all taken care of. Um, let me get started with the program. <laughs> Chief Development Officer at Coalition on Temporary Shelter. D. Walt's job is to bring money in from donors and to keep homeless families fed, clothed, and housed. We work at Fox Sports. We're also 2008 graduates of Michigan State. There's one part of our job that's extra cool. What's up, ladies? Go green! Go white! <laughs> okay, so... Our vice, which is our drug team, is going to be executing, from the sounds of it, a couple search warrants. Our, our vice team, they're all undercover, they all, you know, wear civilian clothes, but they have to have one marked unit there. <laughs> Guess who's skating today? Yeah. This girl! So excited. I've been off the ice for four weeks with a ligament tear in my ankle and I'm ready to go back. You've heard the term Spartans in Hollywood? Welcome to Motion. We're an entertainment marketing and movie trailer company that's loaded with Spartan alums. Spartan writers, Spartan editors, 
Spartan producers, Spartan creative directors, I'm Spartan owner, and on the phone's our Disney client, who's actually a Spartan too. Say hi, Mark. Go green, baby. We gotta rock. We're gonna win this game. Hey, Colin, what are you up to? My homework. Why? So I can go to Michigan State. Go green. Go white. Go white. Very grateful to be able to welcome a new Spartan generation for this family on November 6, 2013, celebrating Mom's birthday. Touchdown, MSU! Yay! <laughs> November 6, 2013. Hey, Macy. What does Sparty say? Go green. Go white. Someone's just learning to walk. Yay! Touchdown! Go white! Go white? Et ça c'est quoi? All right, we made it to Second City. There it is, Second City. All right. So, just a little tour of Second City. Um, some really cool I guess you've all seen your pictures. There's Chris Farley, Bonnie Hunt, Steve Carell, there's Colbert, Amy Sedaris, Tim Meadows. Uh, let's see, we got, we were driving down, we're driving our daughter down to Clemson so she can check it out. And maybe that's just a bad sign right there. Anyway, so as we're driving down the, the freeway, look what happened. That's right, a nice flat tire. All I gotta say is go Spartans. We got on our mechanics gloves and we're gonna go attack it now. So we have three uniformed officers on scene. One's transporting a subject back to the department to be interviewed. And then the other two of us are just remaining on scene as a uniform presence. You take her in there and she can film in there if you want. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. Right. Thank you. They say you have a grow operation. Yeah. You got them starting plants, then you have them growing. Well, we're coming to the end of a, of a long day, a great day, a day that not everybody has, but it only happens once in your life, your 75th birthday. When I think about the 75 years, it's been a wonderful life, and I'm especially grateful for having been a Spartan for 47 of those years. So as I sign off, I want to say go green, go state, and good night. Tonight. Um, okay, so my name is Kat and I am at MSU Main Library at the checkout desk. I am currently taking a break to work on a tattoo design for my friend, which is actually coming along pretty well. My shift ends at midnight, so I will be ending November 6th at work. <laughs> it's, it's fun when you're first kicking the doors and apprehending the suspects, but then when it comes time to do the paperwork, it's not so much fun, and it's a very long process. Alright, we're at the 24 hour Bigby. It's almost midnight, and the day's coming to an end. It's been a pretty long day. <laughs> so this is just the start of your day? Yes, this is the third shift. This is what we, what we do.
go green, go white. La da da. La da da.